Okay, hello. Hello. What's your name? Good morning, my name, my name is Chalisa, so you can call me Bo. Okay, and what's your job? Uh, I'm golfer, professional and golfer. <laughs> <laughs> and where do you play? In I play in tournament in Thailand and Japan. Players, this is an important video. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, but logistical nightmares and the schedules of the pros meant I couldn't do this video until I went to Chiang Mai. This is Pro Bo, Promo's sister. She plays on the Thai and Japanese tour and is ranked number 19 in Thailand at the moment. Watch for the following in this video. 1. Her rhythm and stroke through the ball, not at it, completing the swing. 2. Her relaxed, indifferent attitude. 3. Her consistent, solid pre-shot routine. 4. She sets up her approach to similar clubs every time. 5. Her short game skills, which look so stress-free. We played the delightful North Hill Golf Club, where Bo and Mo practice. Lovely setting, lovely morning. What a day, what a life, what a city. Chiang Mai is easily my favorite place in Thailand. Oh, so it's like simple shot, so I just hit the tree wood and aim to the green. <laughs> simple shot. Okay. For you, simple. <laughs> Great shot. Just a little bit. I believe that par threes on the ladies tour max out at around 180 to 190 yards, so this one was a stretch for Bo. But she was more than up for the challenge, like a bouse. Even though she pushed it right, she walks up to her ball, not thinking about what a loser she is or how this is a guaranteed double bogey. She just thinks, okay, gotta get the next one on the green. That's it, nothing else. Be like Bo, clear your mind, then think about your next shot only. She's very relaxed and fluid. This is the type of tempo we should be emulating. The tendency to hit hard at the ball is killing our golf players. There's no malice in her strike, just a pure stroke of the ball hitting through the ball and then completing the swing. Bobo, 148. What are you hitting? Seven iron. Seven iron. Fantastic. Oh, what a tasty shot. Delicious. No, don't, it's okay, don't worry. Okay. okay, I have already stepped on your line. What a pro. <laughs> Sorry. The line walker. <laughs> Let's not fool ourselves. This type of swing takes a long time to groove, but with a coach and enough practice, we can all be on our way to hitting straighter, more fluid shots. We don't need this exact swing, but grooving our own style is possible. Self-diagnosis of our swing mechanics is often very harmful to our games, and with the internet full of experts, sometimes the overload of conflicting info destroys our confidence. Your job is not to sift the good from the bad, that's the pro's job. Your job is to have fun.
Great shot. Notice her tempo, how she hardly seems to be hitting the ball. This is what we need to emulate. Her drives go between 230 and 250 yards. She just doesn't hit at the ball, trying to smash it into oblivion. Ironically, and we all know this deep inside, the ball goes straighter and further. Of course, she has another gear, I'm sure. But for the distance of the courses, very few of us would ever need to smash any shot either. Smashing the ball adds 5 yards to my drives. Smooth swings go around the same distance. When are we going to learn, players? What a shot. Good shot. Good shot, mate. Oh my gosh. Spin, no spin, no spin. Yes. Planting feathers. Pla planting. 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 You have to put it in the ground. <laughs> you can't just throw it. Planting. If you're planting, give it up. Okay. No going, buddy. Buddies. Planting. Planting. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Okay. Okay, girl, what you hitting? Three hood. Which? <laughs> Where? Okay. With danger around every corner, water left and right, we need control. We need fairways. We need to set up an approach and keep oh those penalties goodness. down. Something that I picked up playing with the plus handicap and a couple of pros now that is, the is that they the are very deliberate when it comes to the short game. They want to make sure they're up and in the hole in as few as possible. How often do we rush a chip or a putt when it counts just as much as every other shot. We definitely don't want to add another hour to our golf game, of course, but how about another five or 10 seconds in the pre-shot routine before a chip or putt? I've tried to add another few seconds just finding the commitment needed, not over analyzing the shot, but just making sure I'm 110% committed. I do most of the analysis while others are playing and then use another five seconds to really so find my commitment level. Those head, extra right? few minutes around without getting in the way of pace of play can save us a handful of shots. Bo is so good with her wedges in hand. This is so key to good golf and it's proven over and over on this channel, but particularly in this round. 
the short game saves that? scores. Okay? If we couple that with an ability to hit the ball to our favorite distances into the greens, we become OMP level golfing bros. I changed my mind. That one is the shot of the day. We watch a certain golf tour on TV. We either watch it for entertainment or we try to relate to other people on it. We watch the PGA Tour, which is a total fantasy to us. It impresses upon us a delusion of grandeur. We see a highlights package or live broadcast and think, okay. yep, I could do that. Next day, we go swing it as hard as we can to try get a DJ distance. We get upset when we hit a seven iron onto the green 40 feet from the flat. Bully. Live broadcasts are delayed and are cut in real time to keep your attention for advertisers. They're hastily sliced to include only the good stuff. We have this impression that the PGA Tour is just long drives, irons being knocked stiff and 30 foot birdies dropping all day, every day. And we think that's golf. Bullen Scheiser. But there is a place where we can relate with a chance of actually emulating. A place where the courses are similar lengths to ours and distances off the club face is more relatable to us. That place is professional golf on the ladies tour and you'll see just how simple these players make the game. No fancy so and so, this is just plain smart golf, full of rhythm, finesse and more importantly less blinded by ego. What happened to the holes here? There's something wrong with the cup. <laughs> no one can escape the tuba. We need birdie here, otherwise it's big, big problems. Yeah. Oh, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. Players, modern golf clubs have been designed to help us get the ball in the air. We don't need to smash clubs to get the ball moving forward or force the ball up in the air. Golf equipment can't really go much beyond this. The balls go further than ever, the faces of clubs are thinner, the soles are fat. We just need to swing and not smash. Trust the equipment. On a lot of courses, if you're playing off the correct tees, you can play this type of golf, players. I'm not patronizing you when I say this. You do not need to master a driver, but a decent fairway wood like a three, four or five wood can get you into a great position. This is your go-to club off the tee. From there, you'll be able to select two go-to clubs, one mid-iron 
and one short iron or wedge. You keep hitting those clubs over and over and over and you've got an arsenal of shots that you can trust. Bo shows us this by often hitting the same shots on each hole. It's simple, smart and relaxing. Playing this round and watching her even mood, tempo and pre-shot routine really got me back to wanting to play golf. It feels so attainable because it's so much more relatable. She just makes it look so easy and makes me feel so hopeful. Not to discount the hours put in by the Bowmeister at all because she works hard. Next round, channel your inner bow and swing smooth. Set up that approach shot, make sure of your chips and remain so even tempered that if you were any more laid back, you'd be horizontal.